you know, let me let me start off with this, right? Zay fucking flowers, right? You know, Lamar Jackson was trying his ass off in this game. He was trying his ass off in this match. Hold on. Let me fix this. Let me fix this. He was trying his ass off this game, right? And this nigga, this nigga dead ass, just throw a quarter, right? With 33 seconds left. This nigga's out here fucking dancing and slapping his hand. And Lamar Jackson's like, yo, man, come on, come on, come on, team, come on, come on. Calling them up and saying, yo, let's go, guys, let's go. Let's huddle up, man. Let's huddle up and score this drive. Let's score this drive. And this nigga out here slapping his fucking hand on the fucking ground and then fucking flips the football and thinks that he's great after that fucking play. And it's, it's at the fucking fifth yard line or some shit, right? And they could just land the ball in to get a touchdown. You know, what happens the previous play is they throw a pass. He catches the ball. He dives in there and fumbles it. Here's the thing. What could have happened? It's what could have happened. What could have happened, right? What could have happened is 33 seconds left, right? They hike the ball. They give it to the running back. He goes in, touchdown, no need for a fumble, right? Because honestly, even if there's a fumble, there's more Raven players that stay to get the fucking ball. But this dumbass nigga decided to dance, and they call a fucking flag. And you Ravens fans want to sit here and say, no, bro, it's the last fall. No, no, niggas, it's not the last fall. This stupid ass nigga decided to fuck your game up. And I get it. Maybe that fumble play was a good play from the Chiefs. But here's the thing. What could have happened? What could have happened? That nigga could have stayed humble like Beckham Jr. did, which we're going to talk about that in a sec. Stayed humble, got the ball, didn't do shit. He's like, okay, man, don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna, uh, uh, he, my my uh, quarterback is trying to huddle up. I'm going to go on with him. Go on with my players, my O-line, and my, my wide receivers, and let's go score on this drive. But no. Nope. Nope. It's not what happened. Stupid-ass nigga fucked this game up for the Ravens. And I'm not even a Ravens fan, but I do. I do support Lamar Jackson. But you decided to fuck this game up, you dumbass nigga. You fucked this game up for them. And I decided to make this fucking video because your stupid ass decided to ruin this fucking whole experience for Lamar Jackson because of your stupid ass play. And then next thing you know, then they get the ball back, right? They feel it, but it's like, what? Nine minutes left? And they didn't even throw the ball at your ass the whole entire drive. You ain't, I don't even think you were even on the field. They threw the Beckham Jr., and that nigga was staying humble the whole fucking time. You're a dumbass nigga, you know that? You're a dumbass nigga. You fucked this game up for them. I'm an Eagles fan. If you guys want to know what fan I I'm an Eagles fan. I, I support the Eagles. And I did. I did. I will admit. Yes, we lost to the fucking Bucks. But you niggas lost to this shit. And it wasn't even Lamar Jackson's fault. It's not even the quarterback's fault. And I actually thought it was kind of Hort's fault on the Eagles' loss. But this was not Jackson's fault. This was your boy, Zay fucking Flowers. That nigga fucked this game up for him. And I feel bad. I feel bad for your boy, Lamar Jackson. Because that nigga could have got a win. He could have got a win. He may have went against whatever team is next, Lions or 49ers. I don't know. By the time this video drops and, and what happens later on tonight, because I dropped this video at 5 p.m. and no, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Whatever happens, we'll see. I put the 49ers on that game. But what could have happened, what could have happened, didn't happen. And 
I know there's like three minutes left, but this game is over. He threw a pick interception, so, you know, good shit, dude. Jackson was trying. He was trying, and he and it went in his head. It mentally hurt him, man, after that fucking play. After your stupid ass did that shit. And he tried to stay humble with your ass. But, honestly, if he is going in the locker room with you, bro, which obviously he is, he's gonna want to kill someone, bro. He's gonna want to hit somebody or something after that. Good shit, man. You fucked this game up for them, man. Dumbass nigga, man. Stupid ass nigga. Fucking idiot. And that's why I don't bet on games, because there's stupid people like you, man. Stupid people like you. Who want to sit here and ruin games like that, bro. They make a good fucking play, and you fuck it up for them. And Jackson counted on you. And you do that. Stupid ass nigga, man. Well, you know, usually people say maybe next year. Shit, who knows, man, by this point. This was a good ass season for Ravens. This was a... <laughs> Flowers lost this game for y'all, so you could just say that. I, want, I would say, oh no, the Ravens lost. Defense played outstanding this game. Gave the Chiefs four, three to four punts this game. They don't do that that much. They go in and score. They're a great team. Mahomes is a great quarterback. All right. So now what happened, man? GG's to uh, the Chiefs. And we'll see what happens in, in the Super Bowl, which is in February 13th. Good job, stupid. Flowers. We'll see if you're staying next year. We'll see. But you fucked this game up for the Ravens, man. And that's all I gotta say. Good job.